here we go another installment in the gardener story this is a 4LW that you've met before now I've got uh, two objectives this morning um, you'll remember that uh, I shot a previous video on this engine and I showed you how the head was cracked and she was putting water into the oil water coolant into the oil big time now we've sorted that all out we've put on a new head We've set all the valves, all set up, engine's all ready to go. And <clears throat> I actually ran her yesterday for about four hours or something, four or five hours. And she came up to temperature, everything was fine. You can see here that the oil is completely black. Now that was new, clean oil going into that engine. So there's no leaks there, everything was fine. But um, <clears throat> I did something a bit naughty. I, I allowed her to run out of diesel. So the diesel tank was empty. So I've got to re-bleed the system here. But in fact, that's a bit fortuitous because somebody has asked me to shoot a video on bleeding the diesel. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through <clears throat> the whole exercise of bleeding the diesel up to the injectors. Uh, and then we'll fire up and see how she goes. And then we say bye-bye to her. That's that engine done and dusted and off she goes. So um, I put some diesel in the tank. I checked that there's a little valve down here that's open. You can't really see that it's in it's in here. So that's the first thing you've got <coughs> that you've got to do. <coughs> Make sure <coughs> that any taps and so on are open. The next thing you do is you slacken these two bleed screws here. In fact, you only need to slacken one really because that whole chamber at the top is common. Whenever the engine's running, that whole top chamber there is full of diesel. We then operate the lift pump, and you'll know that the lift pump is working because there's a kind of a squelchy feel of it. Now, it can take quite some time uh, to bring the diesel up to the injector pump. You can see it's starting to come there, but sometimes it does take, it takes quite a while because it has to fill up all these fuel lines it has to fill up the <coughs> the uh, the fuel filter in there and uh, it can take quite a bit of pumping but there should be no bubbles there see at those two points no bubbles so once we've got her where there's no no bubbles we tighten these two screws back up again By the way, on other gardeners, on the LXB in particular, <coughs> there aren't two screws. There's just um, two big, <coughs> two big adjusting set screws up at the top of the air vessels here, and I'll show you that on a, on a separate uh, on a separate photograph. So once we're sure there's no bubbles here, I'm actually not 100% sure actually, but we'll, we'll we're going to run it anyway. I can then prime the injectors by operating these levers as I've showed you before. We keep pumping them right until they go hard. You can feel the, <clears throat> the diesel being squirted into the injectors up the top. There's just a particular feel about it. Right. So, that's that engine ready to ready to start. Now we'll push up the excess fuel button here at the front and whenever we do that the rack will move will move back. I'm not too sure if you've seen that or not. So that's it. She's ready to go. Um, she's going to be a bit smoky now whenever she starts uh, because it's very cold here this morning and uh, <clears throat> It's only to be expected. This is an old engine. We haven't restored it. I know that there's wear in the bores here, but she's only going to be used for show, so the owner's not that fussy about it, really. So let's see now will she start. Unfortunately, the <coughs> starting button is on the other side of the engine, so I'm going to ask our cameraman here if he would hold the throttle uh, back for me, please. Can you do that, John? Can you do that with one hand? Right, 
she's not so happy. We'll just check those bleed screws again. You can let that go, John. We'll check the bleed screws again. Yeah, a, bit, a wee bit of air coming out there now. Right. Ah, you hear that injector firing? Give her another try. If you just start this time, we'll give her a little bit of heat. <clears throat> Just got a wee bit of a problem here with the diesel return line. So I'll have to sort that out. Okay, um, we'll give her five minutes to warm up. We'll, we'll give her five minutes to warm up uh, whenever we've got this problem sorted out. And then you'll see that the smoke clears quite quickly. So back to you shortly. Minutes later, there you are. You can see the rockers are oiling as they should be. Everything is fine. There's no smoke at the heads. <clears throat> and you'll see that the smoke is now really, really quite clear against a lovely blue sky. Beautiful day here today. So there you are. As you can see, she's got a heavy flyweight, flyweight that's why it takes her so long to stop. Um, I forgot to mention that if you find the, the lift pump doesn't work, if you take off this pipe here, um, sometimes the pipe's on this side, sometimes it's on that side. Take off that pipe and just squirt down in here um, just a few drops of ordinary lubricating oil. There's a little, bo uh, little ball, there, ball there at the bottom of that non-return valve and sometimes it sticks. Even on a new lift pump, sometimes you need to put a little bit of oil in there to get it to work. But once, the, once they start to work, that's it. They won't give any bother after that. Now, I will confess that this whole procedure that we went through here, sometimes you have to do it more than once uh, to get all the air and get her, get her working. But it's not difficult at all. Now, we have found on one or two engines that we even have to bleed the diesel right up here, up to the injectors. Take off these, um, with the engine running, just slacken these unions here until you get a good flow of diesel, not, not too much, and then tighten them back down again, and it helps you to run a bit sm smoother. Um, but you shouldn't need to do that. I've only, I've only seen us having to do that there once or twice. So that's it. That's all I've got for you on this engine. We can say bye-bye to her. We put her in a crate now, and off she goes back to, back to her, her owner. And uh, any questions, please ask, and thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.